Hi, in this video, I will brief you about the battery management system hardware. So actually what's there inside uh, BMS hardware that you typically see that is currently being present on most of the lithium ion battery packs, maybe for automotive applications or even maybe for any other applications as well. So if you see a battery management system, uh, so there are different components on the BMS. So first, this is the place where you have all the voltage signals that is coming from your uh, lithium ion battery pack. So these BMS are designed to handle only specific number of cells. So some are handled to design only 13, some are handled to design 14. And maybe here you can see that you know, there is the specific number of cells that this can handle. This should be able to handle about the, the 15 number of uh, cells. So you can see here that there are a set of uh, MOSFETs which are here on the first line and then you have a set of RC filters. So RC filters are the one that we use when the voltage has been coming to the lithium ion, the, from the lithium ion cells to the BMS, basically they come via these RC filters. They help you in filtering certain signals, which are the voltage signals. Then from, from these um, you know, RC filters, the signal will go to the component called AFE. The AFE is basically an analog front end, which kind of takes care of handling your voltage measurement and it also kind of handles few other activities as well. So now the, you understood that the voltage is coming from these components and then it is going to the, um, the, the filters and then you go to the AFE for the voltage measurement. Then you also have the, um, the microcontroller that is here, right? So these microcontrollers are the one that, that typically kind of does your computational activities, maybe like the SOC estimation, SOH estimation, cycle counting, Typically that is happening inside this microcontroller and different suppliers have different microcontrollers. So you have NXP, uh, you have Infineon, TI and uh, uh, many of them are there to supply you these ICs and also these ICs as well. And then you can see some sort of a resistors here. The resistors which have been present for the each cells. So, and uh, these are basically your balancing resistors. They help you in balancing. And then you see these MOSFETs, these are the one which controls which cells to get balanced. If you want the cell 1 to get balanced, cell 1 to get balanced, cell 15 to get balanced, basically this is all done by your set of uh, the, the MOSFETs which are present here, which are kind of, you know, very closely the three-legged components that are in the beginning of these lines. And then you have your uh, MOSFETs which are here, which is a slightly larger MOSFETs compared to these ones because they handle larger current. So these MOSFETs are the ones which basically handle your charging cutoff or a discharging cutoff as well. Let's say you want to limit your discharging cutoff to 50 amps, right? So these, mes these MOSFETs are in certain in a configuration and they handle suddenly the part of your charging circuit and certainly the part of your di discharging circuit as well. And then you see some small of these components. These are your, um, I would call it as the, the shunt resistors. They help you in measuring the current when it flows out of or inside the circuit, that is what helps you in Coulomb counting as well. And then you have some LDMOs, they, they take care of your voltage dropping from specific voltage to a lower voltage and they help you in the uh, in running the power supply to the microcontroller or running the power supply to your AFE as well. Um, so what else is there? So you have sometimes the driver circuits, that's been driving the set of MOSFETs because you can't directly drive your MOSFETs from your microcontrollers uh, straight from straight away so you have some drivers as well and some of your other RC components or resistors and capacitors to protect some of your other components or to pull up or pull down any of your MOSFETs as well at any given circuit so and then you have some place where you see the temperature sensors uh, the temperature sensors are connected here the temperature come from, come from there and goes to the AFE then you have your communication protocols that's your, uh, you know, UART or, uh, you know, CAN communication protocols in different applications. That's basically driven by the microcontrollers have the ability to do a communication with other components, maybe a laptop or maybe your dashboard and things like that. that that's what is happening here. So then the, finally the B negative and uh, C negative is always connected to the external circuit. So uh, basically you do your low side switching that's why you have your negative circuit that is going from your battery negative or the charger negative. Uh, that's what's been controlled because it's basically your negative switching side or low side switching that we typically call it. That's why you see the B negative here or C negative here or P negative here. 
So everything is basically the negative side of the circuit that has been connected to our BMS. So yeah, that's, that's what the BMS is in a very simplistic way. And what's being present on the BMS. There's a lot more goes into co selecting these components, uh, their values and uh, the kind of controls that has actually happening. So yeah, in a simplistic way, that's, that's what basically present inside the battery management system hardware for you. Um, thank you very much.